Good evening, everyone, and welcome once again to our evening prayer for today, Saturday, the Saturday, the sixteenth of March, twenty twenty-four. Let us begin. Preparation. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Let your ways be known upon earth, your saving power among the nations. Blessed are you, Lord God of all salvation. To you be glory and praise forever. As we behold your Son enthroned on the cross, Stir up in us the fire of your love, that we may be cleansed from all our sins and walk with you in a newness of life, singing the praise of him who died for us and our salvation. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. The royal banners forward go, the cross shines forth in mystic glow, where he in flesh or flesh who made, or sentence bore, or ransom paid. There whilst he hung his sacred side, by soldiers' spear was opened wide, to cleanse us in the precious flood of water mingled with his blood. Fulfilled is now what David told in true prophetic song of old, how God the nation's king should be, for God is reigning from the tree. O tree of glory, tree most fair, ordained those holy limbs to bear. How bright in purple robe it stood, the purple of a Savior's blood. Upon its arms, like balance true, he weighed the price for sinners due the price which none but he could pay, and spoiled the spoiler of his prey. To thee, eternal three in one, let homage meet by all be done, as by the cross thou dost restore, so rule and guide us evermore. And so that this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful, let us pray with one heart and mind. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise now and forever. Amen. And the psalm for this evening is Psalm 140, 140. Keep me, O Lord, from the hands of the wicked. Starting at verse 1. Deliver me, O Lord, from evildoers, and protect me from the violent, who devise evil in their hearts and stir up strife all the day long. They have sharpened their tongues like a serpent. Adder's poison is under their lips. Keep me, O Lord, from the hands of the wicked. Protect me from the violent who seek to make me stumble. The proud have laid a snare for me and spread out net of cords. They have set traps along my path. I have said to the Lord, You are my God. Listen, O Lord, to the voice of my supplication. O Lord God, the strength of my salvation, you have covered my head in the day of battle. Do not grant the desires of the wicked, O Lord. Do not prosper their wicked plans. Let not those who surround me lift up their heads. Let the evil of their own lips fall upon them. Let hot burning coals rain upon them. Let them be cast into the depths, that they rise not again. No slanderer shall prosper on the earth. 
and evil shall hunt down the violent to overthrow them. I know that the Lord will bring justice for the oppressed and maintain the cause of the needy. Surely the righteous will give thanks to your name and the upright shall dwell in your presence. Keep me, O God, from the hands of the wicked. Glorious Saviour, rescue us from the subtle evils that are too strong for us, from poisonous words and the spirit of war. By your judgment, overthrow the forces of violence, that all the world may join to worship you in thanksgiving and peace, now and forever. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. That was Psalm 140. And maybe we could just have a, a short commentary on that psalm. And it's, it's entitled, Change the World. David prays for protection while he takes practical measures to guard himself. He acknowledges that only God can keep him safe. He asks God to be himself and establish justice in society, bringing down those who exploit and oppress. By the end of this prayer, David's confidence has grown. David prays to change the world. He prays that the plans of the exploitative and violent will not succeed and that the poor and downtrodden will be lifted up. And we should pray for the same thing. Affecting world events through prayer is not wishful thinking. We influence the course of current events through appealing to our Father in heaven to intervene. So that's why we pray, because God does intervene when we appeal to him. So let us pray. Lord, help us to remember that you have promised that we do not have because we do not ask. That's recorded for us in James 4, verse 2. Forgive us for sinning against many of our friends by failing to pray for them. Use our prayers to do good things in the world. Amen. And so we now have our first Bible reading, which is taken from the book of Jeremiah. Jeremiah the prophet, chapter 20, starting at verse 7. O Lord, you have enticed me, and I was enticed. You have overpowered me, and you have prevailed. I have become a laughing stock all the day long. Everyone mocks me, for wherever I speak, I must cry out, I must shout, violence and destruction. For the word of the Lord has become for me a reproach and derision all day long. If I say I will not mention him or speak any more in his name, then within me there is something like a burning fire shut up in my bones. I am weary with holding it in, and I cannot. For I hear many whispering, terror is all around. Denounce him. Let us denounce him. All my close friends are watching for me to stumble. Perhaps he can be enticed. We can prevail against him and take our revenge on him. But the Lord is with me like a dread warrior. Therefore, my persecutors will stumble and they will not prevail. They will be greatly shamed for they will not succeed. Their eternal dishonor will never be forgotten. 
O Lord of hosts, you test the righteous. You see the heart and the mind. Let me see your retribution upon them. For to you I have committed my cause. Sing to the Lord, praise the Lord. For he has delivered the life of the needy from the hands of evildoers. Cursed be the day on which I was born, the day when my mother bore me. Let it not be blessed. Cursed be the man who brought the news to my father, saying, A child is born to you, a son. Making him very glad, let that man be like the cities that the Lord overthrew without pity. Let him hear a cry in the morning and an alarm at noon. Because he did not kill me in the womb, so my mother would have been my grave, and her womb forever great. Why did I come forth from the womb to see toil and sorrow and spend my days in shame? This is the word of the Lord. At the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. Jesus Christ was in the form of God, but he did not cling to equality with God. He emptied himself, taking the form of a servant, and was born in human likeness. Being found in human form, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even death on a cross. Therefore God has highly exalted him, and bestowed on him the name above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, in heaven and on earth and under the earth. And every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning is now and shall be forever. Amen. At the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. And our second Bible reading or scripture is John chapter 11, beginning at verse 17 to verse 27. Then Jesus arrived and he found that Lazarus had already been in the tomb for four days. Now Bethany was near Jerusalem, some two miles away, and many of the Jews had come to Martha and Mary to console them about their brother. When Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went and met him while Mary stayed at home. Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But even now I know that God will give you whatever you ask of him. Jesus said to her, Your brother will rise again. Martha said to him, I know that he will rise again in the resurrection on the last day. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. Those who believe in me, even though they die, will live and everyone who lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? She said to him, Yes, Lord, I believe that you are the Messiah, the Son of God, the one coming into the world. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. By your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Christ committed no sin, no guile was found on his lips. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. He himself bore our sins in his body on the tree, that we might die to sin and live to righteousness. By your holy cross you have redeemed the world, by his wounds you have been healed. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. By your holy cross you have redeemed the world. 
<clears throat> God's love for us is revealed in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. And Mary's song, my soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. He has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, but the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel to remember his promise of mercy. The promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham, and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. God's love for us is revealed, in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. And now, for special prayers, we give thanks for this day that's slowly slipping by and for all the provision and good things that God gave us and we enjoyed this day. We make intercessions for peace, peace in our hearts, peace in our families, peace in the world at large. For individuals, which we will name some on our prayer list later, and for their needs. We pray also for the persecuted church, the oppressed people of the world. We pray for all who are lonely and who are near death, all who are facing loss and suffering in mind, body, or spirit. And we say, Lord, in your mercy, hear or prayer. A prayer for peace in the Holy Land. Almighty God, hear the cry of our hearts as we hold before you the people of the Holy Land. Be near those who have lost lives and loved ones and be a sure rock to those who are in terror this day. We pray that through your spirit of wisdom and mercy, conflict may cease and that the leaders of the nations may work together for peace and justice between Israel and Palestine, between Jews and Arabs. As you wept over Jerusalem, so we ask that you hear the prayers of those who weep this day for your holy land. Remember the innocent sufferers in Israel and Gaza, the children, the elderly, the vulnerable. We ask this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We also pray for our church um, and the salvation of the world. Lord Jesus Christ, you love this world so much that you gave your life for the salvation of this world. We pray for every man, woman, and a child in every corner of our world, that they will hear the gospel message and be transformed by the power of your Holy Spirit. We pray for every country on the planet, for every tribe, every language, and every culture, that they may hear the message of your love for them. Raise up pastors and evangelists to bring the gospel to the far reaches of the world. Open their eyes to see Jesus. Give them ears to hear and soften their hearts to turn in repentance and faith to the only one who has the power to forgive. 
and to change their lives. Our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We pray this in your name, Lord Jesus. Amen. And now those, you know, very congregation of St. Saviors and neighboring congregational neighbors, we pray especially for them. We ask, Lord, that we, as we hold them up in prayer, you will meet their needs at whatever state they are and bring them, those who are sick, back to perfect health and those who are sad or sorrowing, bring happiness to their hearts. We pray this week for Doreen, for Jean and Walter, for Monica, for Sue, Daisy, and her family. We pray for Veronica and Chester, Dolly and Desmond. We pray for Jean Murphy. We pray for Joanna. We pray for Pat and Ray Vincent, Pauline Haywood and her family. As she had a birthday just this week, we pray that her happiness will continue. We pray for Muriel. We pray for David Martins. We pray for Surya Keller Johnson. We pray for Veronica, Monica, and daughter Cheryl. We pray for Charity, Pippa, Duke, Radcliffe and Pauline, Archdeacon Elwyn and his family. We pray for Andy and Anita, Una, Noel, Jackie, Maxine Garrison, Atlee, Anne and Richard, Elliot, Jake, Reverend Jeremy's son. We pray for Kiana. And we pray for granddaughter and her stepmom, Lucy. We also bring before you our charity for the month, which is Christian Aid. And we ask that you bless them with the aid that they seek. Be present, O merciful Lord, and protect us through the hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this life may rest in your eternal changelessness. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We ask you to visit all places of worship, O Lord, and drive far from them all snares of the enemy. Let your holy angels dwell with us to preserve us in peace. And let your blessing be upon us always through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Lord, hear us. Hear our prayers, O Lord. Graciously hear us. Most merciful God, who by the death and resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ, delivered and saved the world, grant that by faith in him who suffered on the cross, we may triumph in the power of his victory. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Standing at the foot of the cross, as our Savior taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen.
May Christ, who bore our sins on the cross, set us free to serve him with joy. Amen. And now for the blessing. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and give you his peace, his love, and his joy. And all those you love and care for, may he bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good night, everyone. A pleasant rest to you.